I am in Sterling and we have this drain right here. Now you got a two inch pipe coming in and it's underwater. Well, it's half full right now. We ran a bunch of water down and eventually filled up the drain tile. Now the drain tile comes in and goes this way, outside of the house. So when they dug this areaway back in the day, they dug some drain tile that way. It's collapsed all the way over there. And so what I would, what we would do is put a trench drain in here. Now these things are graded to there a little bit. Some of it still runs this way. So we put a trench drain straight across right here so that any water coming down the stairs on the walls gets right into the trench drain. Trench drain drains in through the threshold. Yes, I know there's a foundation wall there. You're gonna have to go through it. Bring here, 45 and 45. Now there's drain tile in here because I videoed it through the sump pump, which I'm about ready to show you. And so it will go this way towards this HVAC system. You see the wall right there. It'll go this way. It's about 22 feet of jackhammering. Anyway, so there's the bathroom. Try not to cut through that because everything else is unfinished except for this tile. So then from here, from there, you bring that drain pipe off of that trench drain this way. This way. Get into here. And then from there, you bring it right over to this sump pump. Now I'm going to recommend that he gets a battery backup sump pump because when it rains, it pours, and when sometimes electricity goes out, they tie right into here. Now, as you go through here, there's a main sewer stack right there, right there, and there's also the drain tile. So the stack should be deeper than what we're going, but at the same time, we're plumbers, so if we hit it, we can fix it. Same way with the corrugated drain tile. If it's broken, we can fix it. If we expose it, if, it's got, if we punch holes in it, we can fix it. And if it's bad grade, we can put some more gravel underneath it to make it on good grade. So that's what we got. Now in and out, obviously you got the air, you got the stairwell over there. In here, we're gonna have to shut that off while we're jackhammering because it don't want it to suck everything up. But yeah, and then we'll plastic off everything going on to upstairs so that the dust doesn't go upstairs. But that should be pretty easy. Just take this off right here. And then come through here. Uh, I would run some plastic straight across from that corner to that corner. So then we're good. So they go in, pile all everything in there, and that's how we do it.